Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs. Welcome to my live quilting chat, Tipsy Tuesday. Hi, everybody. Thank you for being here. Whether you're watching us on Facebook or YouTube, I am fresh back from Iceland and got lots to show you. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to our channel or follow our page if you're on Facebook. And of course, throughout the show, we love those thumbs up and hearts. And of course, the more you comment, the better chances are that you can win a prize. Yes, we have two giveaways every single show. $25 gift cards up for grabs. And one person is chosen from your live comments. And then we have a giveaway question at the end. On tonight's show, I will be telling you all about the trip, uh, our, my tour to Iceland with uh, 30 nine folks from the states most of them quilters uh, and their sidekicks all of them quilters and sidekicks so uh we had a, sh a show in iceland yes we had a show and we had a giveaway question and so my question was have you ever traveled with a tour group and so our winner from last week is Liz Ree, woohoo! And she has traveled with a tour group and enjoyed it. So, congratulations, Liz. You have won a $25 gift card. We'll get a hold of you or send us a quick email at D equal to science. Uh, Gudrun? No, sorry. See, my brain is not here. Help at G equal to science dot com. Yeah. I apologize for all the wrong words I'm going to say tonight because I am going on very little sleep. <laughs> I've been up since um, Minnesota time. 1 a.m. So, yeah, there's there's that. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Of course, he's gonna keep it going, Mr. HP. Say hi to Mr. HP. Hi, everybody. Hi. He's, he's here, and so you're gonna just pick up my slap, uh, slack. Slack. <laughs> See. <laughs> okay, here we go, folks. If I say something wrong, he's gonna correct me. Let's hope. All right, I just have a couple of reminders. I wanted to just remind everybody, we have, um, before I left for Iceland, we launched Christmas in Europe, the digital package, which is the patterns and video package. It's on special until August 15th. So check that out if you get a chance. Join us, it, it will be loads of fun and excitement is building about that. Um, that is just the digital package. Uh, just know that fabric has still not arrived, and we'll get an update uh, later this week, and we will funnel that along to you as soon as we know more. Um, there are, it's showing sold out on the website because it has not arrived yet. So if you see sold out, you can sign up for notifications if you want to be informed uh, when it's going to be in stock. If we have any, well, we will have some extra. So it's, they're going to be flying out fast. I know that. <clears throat> So I also wanted to mention, if you are a shop owner, that we have now a se separate newsletter for shop owners, and I will be sending out an opportunity for shops to participate in this Christmas in Europe to have sew-ins. So if you're a shop owner, hop on over to our website, right on the front page of the website, scroll down a little bit, and there you'll see our newsletter sign up. Um, now you'll see two links there, one for our regular newsletter, and then below there's another one for specifically for shop owners or wholesalers. So you would just need to have the name of your shop and all that information when you sign up, and then you will get that email from me uh, about the information if you would like to, you know, do some fun stuff with us throughout the year with Christmas in Europe. So check that out. Sign up for that. All right, so um, I think we got to dive right into our trip. So I, we went to Iceland and had a few days before the tour group arrived, had a few days with family and friends, which was lovely. And then the group arrived and we spent nine days touring Iceland. And I was showing them all my favorite places, um, some bonus things, um, great food. It was just a blast. So now I did two shows from Iceland. So I kind of talked a little bit about what we did. But I think I'm going to just give you a little bit of a quick uh, review of our itinerary, and then we're going to watch the slideshow. I may have shown you some of these photos before, but I put together some, um, some photos 
And it, it just made me smile when I was putting those together today. It, it was just a really great trip. Um, thanks to my beautiful people that were with me. Uh, awesome folks, and it's just so easy to travel with. Just a blast. I had a blast. So first off, they arrived in um, Iceland. They always land early in the morning. So then they toured a little bit of the city and then headed straight out to the countryside. So we spent our first three nights out at the countryside at a country hotel where it's really quiet and beautiful, awesome food. Um, we did some, we really did just the south coast this time. So we kind of traveled and saw all the sites in the south and traveled all the way to the Glacial Lagoon, which is kind of almost to the eastern end of the south coast. <clears throat> and then we worked our way back and went out to the Vestman Islands, which is at the southernmost point of Iceland, and spent a couple of days there, which is magical, one of my favorite places. We went to Thursmark, which is um, only, you can only get there by a really tall truck, big tires, because we had to pass some unbridged rivers. Uh, another one of my favorite places, and we got a beautiful day there. Um, and then. We worked our way back, made a little stop at my parents' house, and then uh, headed back to the city. And our last day in the city is always spent um, hanging out with Icelandic quilters. So we do a workshop where I teach in both English and Icelandic, and I kind of pair everybody up, Icelandic quilters with American quilters. They, they kind of work together throughout the day and get to know each other talk a lot, have a lo loads of fun, and then we all have dinner at the end, which is, is our final, final dinner. And then, you know, some of them hopped into the Blue Lagoon right before their flight uh, yesterday, and um, I think they all had a great time. So some of you are watching, I noticed. So let's just watch our beautiful little uh, slideshow of our photos. So check this out.
And there it is. These are just snapshots. These photos are actually just my phone photos and then some of, uh, some of the participants' photos. We like to share photos. So there's plenty of more going to be coming. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We were lucky with the weather for the most part. I think we only got rain when it, we got to Friday, so like after a week. So that was a bonus, beautiful thing. It wasn't very cold, so um, I think it was great. Now the work, uh, workshop uh, worked out well. Uh, of course, we had some COVID restrictions being uh, addressed the day before, so we just all were masked. The beautiful thing is all of us Americans um, had taken COVID tests the day before because we needed a negative COVID test to enter the States again, so we were all clear. So that was kind of a, um, a really beautiful thing that that worked out. Now you might have uh, wondered how we got some supplies. So uh, many of you maybe don't know that, but you know we have our American site, geequildesigns.com, but I, we also have an Icelandic version of our website, and that is gedesignsiceland.com. And that is our site in, in Icelandic, and those products are based in Iceland and are shipped from Iceland, so specifically for uh, my Icelandic friends, uh, my Icelandic filters. And so we brought the whole store there to class, and um, there was a lot of shopping done. It was funny because, you know, we've been doing this for a little bit over a year. Um, yeah, I think almost a year and a half. So it was my sister that runs that store and ships everything. And so um, uh, some of the tourists, or our tours, our American uh, tours, they found some great bundles that have, not, have been sold out here for a long time, but found some treasures there that had... Um, have been there sitting there for for a while so it was fun to see everybody uh, be happy about that so for my Icelandic friends you got that right all right well I knew that my main part of the show was going to be catching up on some new fabric. We've gotten so much new fabric. I am showing you lots tonight, so I think we just need to get started. It, this is only just a, a little piece of what's been coming in, so I'll be showing you lots on Friday and lots next Tuesday. It's going to be taking a while to, to just catch up. So let's start with our um, two small bundles. This one, these are both kind of like specific. You know, I like to do some unique things. If I find fabrics for a certain hobby or something, I always try to do something different. So this one is very unique. So anybody into trains. So this one is called uh, Express Tracks. It's all about trains. So just a small six piece bundle, but we'll start with this one. And then we have all the train signs, all the crossing, train crossing, and then we have this kind of a tone on tone print with the trains, light gray, and of course if you're getting on a train, you gotta have some luggage, and I love this print with the stacked um, vintage suitcases, so cute. And then we have the tone on tone print, the trains in the black, and all the tickets, all the train tickets. So this is Express Track, and it's, like I said, just a five-piece bundle. So, of course, I felt like I needed to add some coordinates, and beautifully, because of kind of the way this is, I grabbed these abandoned two prints, which I think blend perfectly and have kind of that style would go well with it. So both the, the Burgundy Vineyard, the um, Patina with all the purples, pulling out some of the uh, purple in the suitcases, and then this one, um, the piano one with the teals and the yellows, goes well with all the tickets as well. So then I just pulled some of the colors from the prints. As far as purple, I picked this Provisions Vineyard, I got some yellow for the yellow tickets and of course the signs. It's the Jot Dot Medium Yellow. Needed kind of a 
almost an orange color. The Deco Stitch Red Desert works really nicely. Um, canvas Cobalt for some of the blues in here. And then uh, Bumblebear's Dark Terracotta for some of the browns and brownish reds in here. So this is my pull for Express Tracks. Really unique. Uh, I've actually gotten questioned about questions about if, if I've ever seen train fabric. So when I saw it, I was excited to be able to put together a bundle for it. So that is just a small six piece, like I said. Um, good price. And then the other one, specialty one, is called Keep It Real, but R-E-E-L. So fishing. We have, let's turn it this way. It's kind of like little postcards or um, like photos, which I, I just love that um, texture with the wood in the back. All the fishies. And then we have um, them blocked away. And we got some gear. We got the vest. We got basket and all kinds of stuff. Canoe even. Uh, we have a blue print with the fish. Uh, we have all the lures on a black background, which is a net, which I thought was pretty cool. And then we have one kind of a cream background that are um, fishing poles. So really a small one, unique one, but this is just five pieces. I pulled some fabrics to go with it, um, but we also have a panel that's sold separately. So this panel is a large panel, but I thought it was interesting because it's the freshwater fish of North America. So we have the yellow perch, crappy, bluegill, bass, salmon, pike, brown trout, and then we have rainbow trout, musky, walleye, and a smallmouth bass. So this is um, would be kind of cool for a fishing cabin or any fisherman that you know. Um, and then so some of the fabrics that I pulled to go with it. I started with some of the more creams. Uh, this is like a perfect mat match with the with the um, fishing poles. Dash flow marzipan and then a little bit darker canvas brown rice goes with some of the brown tones in here. Um, then I had to do a little bit of yellow to pull out some of the yellow tones in the fish and the lures. So the El uh, Prisma Element Solar Quartz. And then as a green, I love this with it, the Deco Stitch Morning Moss. A nice warm mossy green. As for blues, Grunge Harbor, great color for all those light light blues and then a little bit lighter almost gray provision stone and then i did two dark ones so jack's peat for all the darker ones and then jot dot black to go with the black in here and in the lures so this is keep it real bundle i know you got some fishermen i see already your comments that you have some fishermen in the family so again, just a small, uh, even smaller, just a five piece. Sometimes it's great for something specific like that, just to have a few fabrics and then you just fill it in with basics if you need more, depending on what you wanna make with it. So love the idea of smaller bundles as well. All right, next up is um, Farm Girls Unite. Yes, so a very cute, very colorful bundle, uh, very whimsical. This is by uh, po this is by Poppy Cotton. Is the fabric company? I love their stuff. Really cute artwork and love their sense of color. So we got this deep navy. Here's the floral pl print, and then we have a small floral with all these colors. Then we go into the pinks, really cute. Look at those boots, um, they're adorable. I want them in real life. And then we have the daisies on the pink background and then a gingham with some strawberries. So cute. Uh, we have the floral and the red. 
So I tried to balance this bundle really nicely with just the navy, the pink, the reds, and then the beautiful bright greens. So we have the strawberries and the green gingham, and a nice geometric tone on tone, and then the daisies on the green. So I left out the light fabrics because uh, this will be a perfectly balanced, you could split them evenly, light starks, whatever, or you can easily add a background. So you could do many different backgrounds. So I, what I did with as a fabric pull, I just kind of pulled one color for each if you wanted uh, something a little more calming because they're all kind of a little bit busy. So the Jack's charcoal is works really well with this even though this has a blue hue there's a lot of blue in this so I felt it worked well. Um, Dash Flow Parfait is perfect here with the pinks, Moonscape Flame with the reds and then the Deco Stitch Subtle Sage with the greens. So then if you were thinking about doing a background I, I did some options for you depending on what hue you wanted to go with and they all work well so for example, if you wanted something just really um, quiet, I would do a grunge eggshell, not go pure white because there's not pure white in here. So a grunge eggshell will be the quietest. And then if you want a little movement, Jot Dot Marshmallow has a little more taupe in it. And then if you wanted some warmth, which I thought this one would be great, the Deco Stitch Cloud, because it's a nice cream and it has a little bit of gray and then a little bit of taupe which really reads pink when I put it next to these pinks so that'd be really pretty with it or if you wanted to go gray because there is quite a bit of gray in here the deco stitch reflection would be a great background if you wanted to go gray if you didn't want to go light so this is farm girls unite any farm girls out there I'm sure there are I was the farm girl. I even on the Iceland trip had to wrestle a ram that was out of control. <laughs> he was coming to, uh, actually he was just started to bump some of the suitcases were sitting outside so we had to try and get rid of it. I think somebody took a video of that so we might have to dig that up for a future show. <laughs> that was pretty funny. All right so next one up is a flannel. Flannel bundle uh, that is just wonderfully soft and who doesn't like a cozy flannel quilt in the winter so this one is called snow place like home yes we're talking about snowmen so really cute snowmen oh so cute and so soft so it is snow place like home so a little bit holiday but just with snowmen. I love these light prints with the red and the green. A really nice bright green. So you can see how the green comes in here. Nice and bright. And then we have black. We have the birdhouses, cardinals with a little bit of snowflakes on a black background. And we have the berries, branches. And then a beautiful diagonal buffalo plaid. I love the scale of this one. And then we got the reds, got the snowflakes, a tone on tone, and then another buffalo plaid with a black and red. So this is Snow Place Like Home. Uh, we have two, we have both buffalo plaids in one yards as well. So if you wanted to do a cool border, uh, backing, or binding, anything like that, we got these in one yards. But there's also, so this is the bundle, but we have a panel that is sold separately that is really adorable. So it is rectangular blocks, and there are six blocks to a panel. So um, they all read snow day, peace on earth, just chillin', let it snow, snow place like home, and winter wonderland. And these blocks... Uh, you know, depending on how much, how you cut them, they can, you can cut them as large as 11 by 12 and a half, so they're rectangular, or as small, if you try and go tight, you can do a 9 and a half by 10 and a half. So a really nice 
kind of a unique size. And, you know, I, I will be showing you some more uh, bundles and fabrics today that have more panels. So I just wanted to remind you, I did a show uh, a while back where we talked about how to use some of my patterns with panels. So this sheet here is available on my website. It's just um, a recommended panel that patterns that would work well for pa for panels. Oh my gosh, a lot of that word. <laughs> <laughs> but you can print that out because this will give you the finished size of the block. And um, one that I didn't put on there that I think would work great with this one is the Teen Spirit quilt. I used flannel, the flannel flannel Nomi's quilt, and I made uh, that. Teen Spirit, Flannel Nomi's fabric, and I feel like this block is a great start to replace one of the Teen Spirit blocks. I would just border it so it would measure the same size as a full block, and you swap a few in and out, and then you use the rest of the fabric to make regular Teen Spirit blocks. It would be really a cute, cute way to use this. Really nice and soft. Snow place like home. That is true. It was lovely to go get home today. It's always great to visit Iceland and friends and family, but there is just really nice to come home, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, always nice to come home. All right, so the next bundle is really a new, unique one. It is called Scarlet Stitches and White Linen. So it's really just two colors just red and white and it's just beautiful artwork by Henry Glass so just red and white but I love that they have uh, thrown a little pink in there just for dimension and some gray but the prints in the bundle it's a 12 piece bundle they are all just the red and then so we have the six red so it's a very nicely balanced line we have large scale, medium, and a little bit of a hue difference between the reds, which I always love because then you'll get a lot of dimension in your quilts. So five um, reds, we can kind of count this one in, as an in-between. And then we go into the light ones, and they're all light with red in it or, and a little bit of gray. So it's just a really pretty line. Kind of reminds you a little bit of some stitching, some embroidery stitches and things. Love this print, just with the gray. And then finally the geometric diagonal. Kind of reads like a plaid. So just going from the lights to the reds, there is a panel that goes with this that is really cute. It is kind of like embroidery blocks. So there are eight blocks to each panel, and I believe you can trim them um, down to a nine inch. Yeah, so a nine inch, so make an eight and a half inch or eight, eight inch block finished. The other, other four look like this. So this has kind of a little bit of a Scandinavian feel to it. I feel like just the way these are remind me a little bit of rose mauling. So, um, I'm sure if you have Swedish heritage, that will kind of, you'll get that vibe too. So instead of doing a full fabric pull with this, I just decided to add some grays because I feel like this is good right here with the reds and the lights. So I decided if you wanted to add some grays, I did kind of a variety of grays going from dark. So we have the Dimples Cool Gray as the darkest, um, Dash Flow Rock. <clears throat> Hopscotch smoke, and so a little bit of uh, variety in the grays. Uh, spotted steel, and then the lightest one is the jot dot fog. And then, if you wanted to add either a stripe or a plaid, we have the diagonal stripe on the go on the go in the steel color, and then the diagonal plaid, buffalo plaid in the gray. So all work really well if you wanted to add some grays to this bundle. We'll give it a great new dimension. So scarlet stitches and white linen is what it's called. Really, really pretty. What do you think? Are you seeing the, the Scandinavian vibe in this one? I'm sure you are. 
Gorge. All right. Um, now I'm going to show you. This has been long awaiting. We have our Lewis and Irene Christmas fabrics are here. I have a couple of them to show you tonight. Um, this one is called Noel. And uh, just beautiful artwork. Again, this one has a little bit of metallic gold in it. Uh, this is 15 pieces in the bundle and starts kind of with this really rich dark background and then we have the deer uh, kind of a really similar feel to many of their previous lines I love adding this little bit of a grayish blue in there I'm going to tighten this up, it's a big 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 bundle we have the deer print I love this Christmas tree in the middle here on the lighter gray and then we have that smoky blue again grayish blue with the berries main print um, adding a little bit of taupe love that with a little bit of gold metallic gold we have the cream with the deer uh, all metallic gold this one and I love this kind of a play on almost like a diagonal plaid with just the branches just a regular we have the taupe background with for the main print main floral uh, and then we go into the greens almost a tone on tone with a metallic gold green with a metallic gold and then the deep reds so we have the deer and the deep red and then the red print and then we have the one with the gold so a little bit brighter red that's what I love too when it's a little a change in the hue of reds and then finishing off with this one really cute one so this is Noel Noel lots of things beautiful runners you can make with this one I um, pulled kind of going through the colors and of course starting with red I wanted to uh, the Bumblebee's Retro Red is a perfect match with the brighter reds. And then the Chameleon Red, also a part of our color club, works well with some of the darker tones. Then we go into the greens, and we have Spectrostat Experiment and a Pepper Cotton Jungle. I love this deep, deep green uh, with this. Some grays. Of course, wanted to use the ones that have metallic gold. The rainbow shimmer in the moon is great. Also, the speckled dove with the little bit of also that gold in it. Into some of the blues, uh, a couple of more speckled. The cloud is a kind of a darker uh, with a more gray in it. And then the, the denim, the speckled metallic denim is more blue. Had to do kind of the darkest, so which is a new, uh, rainbow shimmer noir, which is black. So that will be your darkest. And then if you wanted to add more light, the the blizzard is perfect. Goes really well with this tone here. So that would be great. And if you wanted to throw in a plaid, I found one that works really well. The diagonal plaid Christmas in the multi, the greens and the reds would be great to go with that. So this is Noel. Brand new by Lewis and Irene. And again, we put all of those fabric pulls on the blog with the fabric so that, and with links. So if you wanted to find some of these fabric pulls and not have to watch and pause and watch and pause, just head on over to the blog and you will find it all there with direct links to the fabrics. Easy peasy. We try and make it easy for you guys to find it. All right. Completely switching gears from Christmas for a little bit. <laughs> this line is uh, beautiful. It's an explosion of color. This called uh, Wild Blue, right? Yep. Am I right? Yeah, Wild Blue. And I have to show you this print all over because it's an ombre. And look at this. So it's an ombre with... Um, what are those hollyhocks? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not 100% on my plants, but correct me if I'm wrong. But really artsy version of this. So going from the lightest here, 
and into the dark. And so cutting this up into even 10 inch squares or e anything else, you can get, it's like you were using m many different fabrics. So this is one of the, one print. We'll go, um, kind of going backwards here. I was going to show you this one last, but anyways. So we have this marble stripe, and it's a beautiful colorway of all these bright blues, purples, and then pinks, and magenta, fuchsia colors. So very artsy flowers, florals, and then we have kind of a watercolor print here, almost like an ink spot. We have the big daisies, um, and then this print here, with the black and more of the just the blue. And so great kind of blenders in between, like this one, calmer blenders. And we have, I believe, these pansies almost look like pansies, but they're kind of artsy, so they could be many flowers, I suppose. Going into the more pinks, love this print, just really vibrant, beautiful. And then we have a tone on tone blender. And then the small, smaller floral. And then this one here with the more pinks and a little bit of that black in there. Just really artsy and cool. So you could pair this with uh, all kinds of backgrounds. It, it really flows well together. I kind of started pulling by color. I, let's start with the pinks. I started, I pulled three um, Bumbleberry's Pink Burst with, for the lightest because it has a mix of lights in there. The Prisma uh, Red Rod Rodonite and then the Grunge Raspberry because it has a little bit of purple in there too so it works perfectly. Uh, going into the blues, the lightest blue would be the thatched cornflower, the canvas cobalt for the medium, and then the darkest, deepest blue, still bright, spotted sapphire. For some of the purples, canvas amethyst, and then I wanted to come up, kind of find some of those uh, l more lavenders, so the stratosphere iris is a perfect tone for some of these lavenders in here. And then the grunge purple also has some of the lighter tones in there. Um, and just to sharpen it up, I threw in a black Moonscape Ebony just to kind of pull all those blacks together. So it could, great to use for binding, maybe a narrow border, anything like that. Um, and then, oh, I forgot one light pink. I had one more pink in here, the pink powder for some of the lighter tones in here. This would also make a beautiful background. And then, of course, if you wanted a stripe, I found a stripe, the Holiday Essentials, and the Love has the red and pink in there with that lighter, so it will just fit very well in here. Wild Blue is the name of this one. Beautiful for any time of year. So mixing it up in, in between our Christmas lines with some color and flowers. So, okay, on to some more Christmas, more Christmas stuff. This one is called Home for the Holidays. Now this is a Three Wishes bundle, so very price conscious, but beautiful, unique artwork. I'm gonna show you this one first here. So I love all of these. I love the, the mint green in here. I just love that with the warmth of the wood rich reds and just cute artwork so this is uh, one print so there are two three four five six seven nine prints in the bundle here's the second one i gotta show just all of you show the whole thing to you so i love houses i've always been a sucker for houses so i just love this scene and then we have um the trucks the red trucks santa's workshop with the with the trees, we have the mailboxes, letters for Santa, um, another typography print, home for the holidays with the bikes, bicycle, and the red truck in the smaller scale. We have 
reindeer on the red background and a nice soft plaid looks it just looks the texture looks like it's woven but it's or it looks like it's yarn dyed but it's not it's printed and then we have one of the a little bit more of that mint green with a snowman here and the last print is this one the tree farm with the fresh pine trees so these are the nine fabrics but the bundle also comes with a panel and this is a full yard panel so this is really enough to make like a 16 inch pillow so really cute to use this for pillows we have the post office we have um, this one with a sleigh and then the other side so it's four different images the Merry Christmas gazebo and then the red schoolhouse how cute is that so one pa one set of panel comes with the bundle we have a few of the panels extra just sold separately but not a whole lot but they, there's one full one that comes with the home for the holidays bundle and so then of course I felt like I needed to do a little bit of fabric pull <clears throat> so um, pulling out some of these colors starting with the mint green of course canvas minty and floral elements icy blue worked perfectly in there um, as far as greens the canvas crocodile is a great color for all the trees has a little bit of olive hue to it and then the jot dot olive also a little bit brighter and then as far as reds the grunge cherry works for most of these reds because there's a huge difference in there and then also the floral element scarlet a nice deep rich red that could work well as well and then if you wanted a little bit of a plaid the plaid buffalo in the ruby and black would be great to add to this so then I did just a little bit of brown because there's so many wood signs so the canvas buckskin would be great to pull that together and if you wanted to match some of the creams in here this was my perfect match the canvas French vanilla has a little bit of taupe like all of these prints do have a little bit of taupe in them so this is home for the holidays really great so how um, this is kind of the one of the first times we include the panel in the bundle it was just unique because these were so big and it's a full yard so we wanted to try that so tell us what you think about that if you like them separately or if you like it as a part of the bundle you know you never know <clears throat> we always like to try some new things all right so we have one more thing for you that I absolutely love now this um, is another Louis and Irene and it's called keep believing they uh, partnered with an artist that they did also last year we got a little bit of this line last year and it disappeared instantly so this is a Scandinavian designer the art, art actually artist that they work with and to put together this um, keep believing so it's of course the Tomtis um, the little Santas the Nis the Nissas whatever country in Scandinavian country you are in they all have a little bit different names and really beautiful rich blue which is always popular maybe not the most common Christmas color um, but really pretty so here we have them playing with Santa so of course very Norwegians Swedish Danish pretty much uh, we have the snowflakes with the light blue and then we have them in the on the light blue background so this is the bundle just a small smaller bundle just an eight piece bundle we have the light with the snowflakes and then um, playing with the snowmen on the white background and then the red in the snow globes here so this is the bundle keep believing bundle then we have a couple of more things for you to see which are just adorable there is a panel that is um, small squares but really cute artwork 
So these were really popular last year. They sold out really fast. So they are about, I believe, about five inches if you cut them. So you would cut them like at five and a half or six, and then you could make, I mean, anything. Runners, toppers, coasters, um, trivets, and here's, there's all, all new, all different here on this side. So there are three, seven, so that's 21 different images. Just gorgeous artwork. But that's not all. That's not all. So panel is sold separately this time around. This print I absolutely loved, especially because in Iceland there is a rich tradition of people taking down their kitchen valances and putting up Christmas ones for their windows um, for the Christmas season. So this is a double border that is 56 inch wide. So it's a wider fabric, 56 inches wide. And this is the print on the border on the sides. And it just has this really nice snowy blue sky in the middle. So it's on the other side as well. So this would be really great. Of course, you could use it for runners. You can cut parts of it to use for placemats. But if you want a little valance, or we sell them in, so this is the one yard. And then we sell them in three yards, which is perfect for a tablecloth because it is 56 inches wide. You can put it on uh, a table, 72 inch, even an 84, um, eight, no, so 72 inches, yes, you can put on an 84 inch long dining table, beautiful, easy tablecloth for the holidays, which is what I think I'm doing. So we cut it in three yards and then... You can play with the rest any which way. How cute is that? Of course, with the reindeer. So I love that. Me Eva Melquist is the designer, is the artist that, that um, designed these. Just love it. All right. So that is Keep Believing. And that is all I have for you tonight. <laughs> that was a lot, wasn't it? Am I forgetting anything? I think I did it all, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Good. Yay. That was a lot. Good but there will be even more coming, coming, coming. It's, it's like Christmas in the warehouse right now. So much new stuff, beautiful stuff coming. All right. So do we have um, a live winner for everybody before we finish up tonight? Let's see, our live winner is Barbara West. Congratulations, Barbara, you've won a $25 gift card. Send us an email, help at geequiltdesigns.com, and we will get that gift card to you uh, right away so you can utilize that for some shopping, for some fun shopping. Are you ready to start sewing some Christmas stuff? Always, always, at least securing the fabric so you can sew once winter gets here. You know how that works. So that is it for us tonight. I'm going to go and get to bed early so that I can, uh, yeah, maybe survive <laughs> better. Um, turn, this, turn this jet lag around and the time difference. So right now it is almost 1 a.m. In, in Iceland. So it's, uh, yeah, it's getting to be almost 20 hours that I've been up. All right, so I have a question for you for... Um, a, sec a second chance to win a second $25 gift card. So all you have to do is answer this question in the comments and you'll be eligible to win for our next show. We'll randomly pull a, a comment from, either from both Facebook and YouTube. All right, so here's my question. Of course, we ate a lot of great food in Iceland and we ate a lot of great fish. So what is your favorite fish to eat? Because we had salmon, we had cod, we had um, uh, blue lang, what else? Lobster, scallops, shrimp. I didn't get all that. No, you didn't. You the missed out. I had. You um, had lobster. No, no, I had great mushroom soup. You had a great mushroom soup. Yes, you also had lobster soup. Um, what else? I had. I think maybe one more. Yeah, I had a lot of a lot of fish. Very yummy. All right, so 
All you have to do is tell us in the comments. Maybe you don't even eat, eat fish. So it's kind of a requirement if you go to Iceland, you got to taste it. It's just different when it's really fresh. Our next Tipsy Tuesday will be, it's already going to be August, August 3rd. Uh, at 7 p.m. Central, and our next show will be, of course, this coming Friday, which will still be July. Yes, thank, thank God. It's still July, July 30th at 3 p.m. Central. But I want to finish by wishing my lovely sister a happy birthday. It was her birthday today, and I was on a plane, but got to talk to her a little bit. So, happy birthday. Love you. Okay, everybody, I will see you on Friday. Bye.